Last week here on Grit TV, we spoke to Dave Lindorf about Raymond Davis. That's the CIA employee held in Pakistan accused of shooting two Pakistani civilians. That story got murkier the deeper it went, Lindorf noted. And this week, Davis has been released after a reported $2.3 million was paid to the families of the victims. Davis is free, his secrets protected. Others, like Shane Bauer, a freelance journalist still held by Iran, haven't been so lucky. Pratap Chatterjee notes in The Guardian this week that Bauer's job was to uncover U.S. government secrets, though, not to create more of them. Four New York Times journalists, Anthony Shadid, Tyler Hicks, Lindsay Adario, and Stephen Farrell, are missing in Libya right now. Will there be negotiations for their release, too? Meanwhile, the money... 2.3 million for one CIA guy. It's a bit steep, even in the war budget, when it costs about 1 million per soldier per year in Afghanistan. What about closer to home? What could 2.3 million get us here? How about nearly 45 Wisconsin public school teachers at the current average salary of 51,000 a year? When Scott Walker and the Fox News crew are crying about the budget-busting cost of teachers having collective bargaining rights, we don't hear them complaining much about the government's bargaining for the freedom of a contractor in Pakistan. Let the market decide, they say, and apparently the U.S. and Pakistani governments consider $2.3 million a fair price for Davis. No word on the market price for journalists, let alone teachers and other workers here at home. Enjoy Grit TV? Want more people to see it? Well, we are making our program available free to public television stations coast to coast. If you would like to see our show on your local public television station, please give them a call and ask for Grit TV with Laura Flanders. Thanks.